Velma accused of queer baiting, not gay, but straight, in mindly kaling series. Greetings once again, my friends, and welcome back to GNRO Mini Podcast. Here we go with yet another episode, and this one I've actually been looking forward to because I've seen a few people talk about it, namely like Clownfish TV, and wanted to give my thoughts on it as uh, things evolve. And today's story is actually being brought to us by Cosmic Book News, who is talking about the Velma situation. In case you guys don't know, there is a new Velma HBO Max series that is not getting good publicity at all. And we're going to find out because the article is being written by Matt McGloin. We're going to see what he has to say. In a sudden turn of events, it's revealed that Scooby-Doo's Velma might actually not be gay, but bisexual or even straight. Or we could just say that she's straight. I don't know. Like, maybe we could just adhere to the character. I don't know. Maybe I'm just old fashioned. Maybe you could go that way. Last week, Tuesday saw it confirmed that Velma is officially gay as the new animated Trick or Treat Scooby-Doo animated movie confirmed Velma to be a lesbian as feature as footage reveals Velma crushing on Coco Diablo and vice versa. <coughs> a producer on various Scooby-Doo projects also confirmed confirmed Velma is gay and even said not bisexual. Really? They said not bisexual. That That's even better. I've said this before, but, Bel but Velma and Mystery Incorporated is not bi. She's gay, said Tony Cervone uh, back in 2020. Uh, Velma had a, has a crush on Fred. Uh, this is where it actually gets better. <coughs> However, how, now the new HBO Max series starring M uh, Mindy Kaling as the East Asian Velma reveals a different story. The show's official Twitter account has come out and tweeted the cast and character descriptions where Velma, get this, has a crush on Fred. <coughs> so not necessarily that far off from what other material has done. Because <laughs> I think also in What's New Scooby-Doo, they actually did have something going on uh, between the... Uh, not not anything huge, but they actually did maybe hint that maybe Velma might have had a crush on Fred. So that's, that's kind of funny. But you're also talking to a guy that doesn't know a whole lot about uh, Scooby-Doo, so I could... I could give less of a crap. My secret crush on Fred has everything to do with Glenn Howerton's casting, tweeted the account. Uh, so this is the Velma series. But Daphne has two moms, so no! What is surprising is that the show isn't shying away from LGBTQ themes as tweets reveal that Daphne has two moms. Oh, Daphne has two... Yeah, I, I missed that little fine print right there. Daphne has two moms. That's great. Okay, Jane Lynch plays Donna, one of Daphne's police officer moms. She should arrest herself because she steals every scene. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I need to get the Velveeta out of my veins. Give me a second. Ah! Uh, so the second confirms two moms. Wanda, Wanda Sykes plays... Of course Wanda Sykes plays Linda. Wait, Daphne gets two hilarious moms? Where's my one hilarious mom? Seriously, she's missing. Wanda Sykes isn't that funny. Unpopular opinion, but Wanda Sykes isn't that funny. I don't know about Jane Lynch, but I'm pretty sure she isn't funny either. Uh, so there you go. There's the there's the depiction of the new Velma. Uh, I also love the fact that uh, Velma can't be thin anymore because you can't have you can't have thin characters anymore. No, they can't be healthy. They have to look at least somewhat unhealthy because people are unhealthy and are unwilling to do anything about it. Velma accused of queer baiting. So in the uh, in the Minnie Kaling Velma show, which is an animated adult comedy airing on HBO Max, because of course it is. Daphne has two lesbian moms, but Velma seems to be straight and has a crush on Fred. Oh, OK. So Daphne's the one that's gay, but Velma isn't. How stupid is this going to continue to get? A Twitter user has accused the show of queer baiting and the LGBTQ community is in an uproar. They are OK. I'm sorry, Matt McGloin. I'm going to go ahead and call you out on this one. They are always in an uproar. They are always butthurt. That never ends. They literally cannot stop being butthurt. And so at that point, I will correct you there. Wow, thanks for the queer baiting, states the tweet, which has been linked almost 600 times because Twitter is the only thing that's important in life. Another fan that is apparently unhappy also replied, you could have tweeted literally anything else to announce Fred's voice actor. Uh, did they even announce Fred's voice actor? I don't think they did. Uh, let me, let me double check here. Oh, Glenn Harrington. Okay, yeah, well, whatever. <clears throat> okay, so, 
Another fan is now no longer interested in watching the show anymore. Well, they wouldn't be the only one. I was looking forward to the show, actually, even though it seems like it's getting a lot of flack, but now I'm kind of not interested anymore, said a disgruntled fan who apparently isn't happy that Velma has a crush on Fred. Why? What does it matter? Uh, you just alienated a ton, of, a ton of people who had been excited about the show. Great job, says another LGBTQ member. Uh, well, gay Velma didn't last long at all. Nope. Nope, she didn't. Uh, the Velma HBO Max series has a lot of has upset a lot of LGBTQ fans. Good. Uh, but that is not uh, that is not all as fans of the original character also aren't happy. The recent trailer released has been disliked over 200,000 times on YouTube because, of course, uh, the official description Velma is an adult animated comedy series telling the origin story of Velma Dinkley, the unsung and underappreciated brains of the Scooby Doo mystery gang. This original and humorous spin unmasked the complex and colorful past of one of America's most beloved mystery solvers. Well, you guys have a problem with unveiling that past because as I saw with multiverses, she can't call the police on anybody anymore. Which is dumb. Jinkies. Uh, so at that point, my my final opinion on this one, uh, you know, I was hoping the Cosmic Book News was going to work out, but I'm not sure if I like how Mike Mac Matt McLoin was, was writing that. Uh, I'm not going to give him the greatest review on his article because he kind of bounces back and forth. But ultimately, my opinion on this whole Velma is gay, Velma isn't gay. Do we care? Ultimately, do we care? I mean, the, the biggest thing that I cared about was they actually put out an image and I'll see if I can find it uh, while I'm talking to you guys. Uh, they put out an image of Daphne, I'm guessing from the HBO Max series. Uh, and. Ultimately, it just told me everything I needed to know about the, the series and why I'm probably not going to be watching it. <clears throat> I mean, I wasn't a Scooby-Doo fan to begin with, but this definitely did not do it any favors. And it's basically uh, Daphne getting out of the shower and being covered by nothing more than soap, which I remember way back when. <clears throat> they actually had an issue with Daphne when they did What's New Scooby-Doo? And they actually had the audacity to do a beach episode and put her in a bikini. And I remember it because it was the dumbest thing ever. <clears throat> maybe it was local news. Maybe it was national news. I can't remember what. But they they ultimately tried to do uh, or they tried to to cast or cast a shadow where Daphne is never allowed to be sexualized, except she was the character that was sexualized in the 70s series. I don't understand what the hell you're you're doing there. And so the fact that this is just going to sexualize her even more, but we can't do that with other women is just it, it's the writing on the wall for all of Hollywood's created works. It's such a double standard and hypocrisy that it's getting I'm getting sick and tired of dealing with it on the regular. But that's going to go ahead and be my opinion on the matter. Uh, let me, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to find it. But uh, if I can, I'll, I'll put it in, in post. Uh, I'll put it on in post and let you guys see it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I personally couldn't care. It's just yet another example of not respecting characters that people love, because even though I'm not a fan of Scooby-Doo, I have friends and family that are. And immediately they're not happy with the uh, <clears throat> with the race bending, the orientation bending, whatever you want to call it. They're all tired of it because they just want to see their favorite stuff getting adapted and giving proper respect instead of what is actually being given to uh, Daphne and Velma right here. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the Velma situation, whether or not you're going to watch the show. Ultimately, I think you shouldn't waste your time, but that's just me. And of course, I will see you guys again for the next video.